Swan Valley Medical, innovative medical instruments for improved safety and quality of life. The T-SPEC instrument precisely places an 18 French suprapubic catheter utilizing the proven transurethral route. Refer to the T-SPEC instructions for use for complete details of the T-SPEC surgical system. Refer to the model selection and functional dimensions table to determine the appropriate T-SPEC model to use based on the abdomen thickness at the preferred cystotomy site location. Additional materials required for use of the T-SPEC surgical system include sterile, water-soluble, non-staining lubricant jelly, sterile water for catheter balloon, and sterile surgical scalpel. It is suggested to visually confirm position of catheter balloon with cystoscopy. The T-SPEC includes the following components. The front handle, which includes the urethral sound, bull nose urethane tip, lock wheel, and rear handle. Positioning arm including the capture housing, positioning arm mast, syringe, and T-SPEC 18 French silicone catheter. Prior to beginning the surgical procedure, fill the syringe with 10 cc's of sterile water. Test the catheter balloon by inflating and deflating catheter balloon with syringe and sterile water to confirm function and integrity, then set aside for later use. Install the positioning arm onto the mast at the top incision track measurement and set aside for later use in the procedure. Ensure that the lock wheel is in the lock position and rear handle does not slide forward. The lock wheel cover is to remain in place until physician is ready to initiate the surgical incision. Prior to the procedure, perform cystoscopy looking for any contraindications. The contraindications for the T-SPEC surgical system include patients with urethral strictures or occlusions that preclude the safe introduction of the T-SPEC urethral sound, patients with uncorrected bleeding disorders or uncontrolled coagulopathy, patients with known active bladder cancer, patients who are pregnant, patients who have undergone prior abdominal or pelvic surgery, and or radiation that could create bowel adhesions or interposition of bowel at the surgical site, patients with untreated urinary tract infection, patients with intestinal obstruction, patients with femoral to femoral bypass grafting. Procedure steps are the same for male and female patients. The stainless steel T-spec sound with embedded cutting blade is inserted into the urethra and bladder. The silicone bull nose tip of the sound facilitates smooth insertion for male or female patients. The pubic bone is easily detected adjacent to the sound tip and helps to ensure optimal placement of the surgical tract. Pull the front handle back against the pubic bone and lower the instrument no more than 5 degrees to the coronal plane of the patient. The T-SPEC is equipped with a positioning arm and blade capture mechanism in perfect alignment with the instrument sound. These features precisely control the location of the surgical tract, ensuring predictable and repeatable results regardless of anatomy. Confirm mast is fully seated to the indicated mark and locked into front handle. Only slight pressure of positioning arm on patient's abdomen is necessary. The suprapubic incision measurement the distance from the bladder wall to the skin surface can be taken by reading the number on the side of the mast directly above the position arm latch when the capture housing is in contact with the abdomen skin surface. This measurement corresponds to the scale on the rear handle slide rail, the distance necessary to slide the rear handle forward when creating the surgical tract incision. The physician need only slide the rear handle this distance plus an additional 1 to 2 centimeters to fully engage blade in capture housing. Before the physician can advance the cutting blade, the handle and blade mechanism is released by removing the safety cap and rolling the lock wheel to its forward position. Keep hands clear of the surgical field during blade advancement. The cutting blade is advanced by sliding the rear handle forward. 
the smooth action of the cutting blade mechanism ensures a precise and relaxed cut from the bladder wall to the abdomen surface. The rear handle is advanced until the cutting blade is embedded in the capture housing. The capture housing is precisely positioned over the patient's abdomen to receive the cutting blade. Trust the instrument. On patients with large abdomens, it may appear that the position of the capture housing attached to the positioning arm indicates a surgical track more proximal than desired, appearing superior to the peritoneal cavity. To ensure proper surgical track placement on patients with large abdomens, keep the rear handle within 5 degrees of coronal axis, upward pressure on sound tip residing inside bladder, or downward force on the rear handle. This may result in a deflection of the alignment arm causing the blade to miss the capture housing. The cutting blade and capture housing are removed with a simple twisting motion leaving only the catheter bayonet connection and coil at the abdomen surface. To remove surgical blade, apply continuous downward pressure while rotating the blade capture housing 360 degrees counterclockwise before removal. If the surgical blade does not embed in the capture housing or misses the capture housing after exiting the patient, it can be removed from its connector with a hemostat or separately with the blade capture housing by performing the following steps. First, keep alignment arm in place. Second, unlock rear handle by rotating lock wheel forward and fully extend blade and drive coil. Third, lock the rear handle. Fourth, use blade capture housing or hemostat to remove blade from drive coil while holding the drive coil with the opposite hand. Coil and catheter bayonet connector are fully advanced and the handle lock mechanism is engaged by rotating the lock to the rear position. The catheter is attached to the bayonet connector with a simple twisting motion. A click will be felt once the catheter tab is fully seated into the bayonet slot. Visually confirm that the catheter is fully seated in bayonet slot and secured to bayonet fitting on coil. Tug gently to ensure the connection is secure. The positioning arm is removed by opening the mass latch and lifting the assembly from the handle. A scalpel is used to make a small skin incision directly adjacent to the coil to widen the surgical track for the catheter. Cut the skin only, fascial cut not required. The handle lock is released and the coil is retracted into the sound with the rear handle stopping at the shaded box on the slide rail. The handle lock is then re-engaged and the catheter is ready for placement in the patient. The T-spec instrument is withdrawn from the patient and the catheter is cut in the area between the drainage holes and the sound tip. Once the catheter is cut and the T-spec handle is released, the T-spec catheter becomes similar to an open-ended council catheter. Use the provided 10cc lure syringe for balloon inflation. Inflate the catheter balloon with sterile water only. Ensure the full 10 cc's of fluid is transferred into balloon and do not overinflate. The precise nature of the surgical cut ensures correct positioning of the catheter balloon at the bladder dome. The T-spec catheter is designed with measurement markings that correspond to the incision measurement. Cystoscopy confirms balloon deployment in the bladder. You may see some blood and discoloration in the fluid flowing from the catheter. This will quickly dissipate. It is at the physician's discretion whether or not to secure the suprapubic catheter to the skin with a suture. The T-spec catheter should not be allowed to remain in dwelling for more than 29 days. For catheter replacement, particularly in the large abdomen patient, the open-end T-spec catheter will accommodate a guide wire which can facilitate future suprapubic tube changes. The T-spec 18 French suprapubic catheter is now properly positioned and ready for use.